like the sun Where have you been, darling? What have you done? Good morning, everybody. Um, it's kind of early. I'm currently in a Starbucks parking lot waiting for my friend to get back, who I will introduce to you in a minute. But we are heading to Salvation Mountain today in Slab City. We were originally going to go to Joshua Tree first, but it is covered in snow and we actually probably can't even get in this morning. So we're going to go to Salvation Mountain first instead of after Joshua Tree. And then we're going to try to get a campsite for our second night out of town in Joshua Tree and do some hiking and see some sights. And I'm super excited to take you guys along with me and introduce you to Shayna, who I've known since I was 12, I think. We've known each other for a very long time. So yeah, I'm gonna be trying to film a little bit while driving, we'll see. Um, I'll have Shayna kind of be my designated vlogger while I do the road tripping part of this. But yeah, we're gonna be heading out very soon and I am so excited to take you guys along on our first real road trip together. introduce you guys to my friend Shayna. She's joining me on this trip right now and we just realized we've known each other for 10 years. So that's really exciting. Um, Shayna, you want to tell them a little bit about yourself? I'm Shayna. I go to UCLA and I love Hallie. <laughs> destination this is Salvation Mountain it is two hours from where I live most of the year and it'll be another two hours back to Joshua Tree tomorrow but this is just so cool we're kind of in the middle of nowhere but like I don't even care so here's a little bit of the history of Salvation Mountain so you can just hit pause if you want to read about that
down the road a little bit to the Salton Sea um, State Park area and it was $10 for a campsite so we're gonna pitch our tents down here which is kind of where we were earlier but a little bit further down the road Whoa, wind! <laughs> and we're just gonna camp here for the night it was only 10 bucks and it's actually pretty warm out currently which it's been really cold where I am so this is just very enjoyable and yeah we're actually saving a lot more money doing this and it's a beautiful area and we'll be in joshua tree tomorrow so it's just been a day of adventure slab city was really really cool beautiful art installations um salvation mountain was just so amazing because it's one of those things you kind of only see in people's instagram photos and then you're actually there and it's just super cool to see it was kind of closed off though because of all the rain so we couldn't actually climb onto the mountain like apparently you normally can but it was still a super cool experience i got a sticker for my um little travel trunk thing that goes in my living room so i'm gonna be adding to that and this is just where we're gonna end our day and it's just super beautiful our tent for the night we're just gonna share tonight we might do separate tents tomorrow or sleep in the car tomorrow because Joshua Tree is going to be pretty damn cold, so there we are, and there's my car, there's the wandering soul, and <laughs> there's Shayna, and there's our view. So this is our view currently. We're waiting for the sun to go down because it's going to be absolutely beautiful. And we just pitched our tent, which is all the way back there. We can't hear the road, which isn't ideal, but there's like a train and it's just really, really pretty. I'm super glad we decided to do this. here making dinner and look at this sunset behind us if it wants to focus <laughs> let me move a little bit Let's see. there we go <laughs> sorry about that finger but look at this wow chickpeas, quinoa, and baby carrots, and I put some sriracha on mine. And I'm super excited to eat this and finish watching this sunset. Wow. What have you done? You were out finding trouble again. There's a fire in your eyes and there's blood on your 
pitched our tent, eaten breakfast, Shana is doing the dishes right now, and I'm gonna go change and brush my teeth because personal hygiene is still important even when you're camping. And then we are going to hit the road and head toward Joshua Tree, which hopefully doesn't have quite as much snow as it did yesterday. So I'm super excited to get out there and show Shana Joshua Tree because she's never been. She's actually only been to, I think, one national park and it was Sequoia. So I'm just super excited to get my day started. <laughs> So we've just gotten really lucky and we turned down the right road and we happened to get a first come first serve campsite. So here we are, this is Bell Campground. Um, it's about halfway through the park, I believe, and I've got these huge rocks behind me. Some Joshua trees back there. And we're gonna go try to find the cactus garden after we pitch up our tent. We just saw Skull Rock. And Shana's having a great time. It's her first time here. Uh, it's my second time here, but I stayed pretty close to the entrance before. So I'm glad that I've gotten to see more of the park this time around. Okay, so I keep hearing that we need to hike Ryan Mountain. So that's what's right behind us. And we're gonna head up. We're gonna take some pictures in front of the Joshua trees first, cause we haven't really explored like this area quite as much as we explored our little campground. Um, so yeah, we're just gonna explore. We're gonna hike. I'm gonna show you guys the view from the top and it's gonna be a good day. <laughs> Shana, what do you think of Joshua Tree so far? It's so beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. Are you ready for this hike? Yeah! <laughs> All right, so we made it to the top of Ryan Mountain. There's actually quite a lot of people up here and we're at like 5,000 something feet. Somebody built a snowman <laughs> over there. So we're just gonna sit and eat for a little bit and just enjoy the view because it's absolutely gorgeous up here.
Okay, so we are back at the campground. I've just gone on a little walk and I'm sitting on a rock and just looking at the view while Shayna takes a nap. I just did a little bit of yoga, had a little snack, and now I'm just soaking up the sun because it's been so cold and rainy where I live. And yeah, so I'm just enjoying this view and just relaxing at the campground. It's really nice to know that I have zero obligations because when you're in school or at work you kind of always have a deadline and it's really nice to just know that you can relax at a campground and you really don't need to be anywhere you just need to like make dinner later at some point <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is day three. We kind of just packed up everything and left the park and we went to the visitor center and got some stickers as our little souvenirs because that's what I collect uh, when I'm on the road. And we are just going to actually head back to my apartment now and just leave the desert and end the trip. But we still have about an hour worth of driving and we might stop in the um, Morongo Preserve and just kind of see some wildlife. Wow, I actually got a little sunburn. Wow, it was cold. I didn't expect that to happen, but um, we slept pretty well. It was definitely below freezing, but it wasn't like impossible to handle. Uh, and then we woke up, ate breakfast, packed everything up. Uh, we made some friends with these old men who were camping next to us. Um, and yeah, so we're just gonna head home now and hit the road again. So yeah, Shana, do you have anything to say about Joshua Tree first national park experience? So beautiful, <laughs> definitely check it out if you haven't. Yeah, if you guys are new to the national park system, you should definitely um, hit up your local one. I mean, Joshua Tree is only an hour and a half from where I live most of the year, so it was definitely just a really convenient trip and you should check out your local park because honestly they're beautiful places and they're absolutely 100% worth checking out even if you don't camp like just go in for a day do some hiking see some nature all right so I am officially home we're gonna unload the car Shane is gonna hit the road I'm gonna go food shopping and I'm just gonna end the vlog here. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing Joshua Tree National Park and some other areas in Southern California's deserts. And I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day. Safe travels.